his double jump with his heavy armor really strong. The only thing that is really bad for Yoshi is not even the fact that he doesn't have a W. We do not care. His double jump is still really good, even though he can be blocked at some point. But he can't jump out of shield. And this is one of the worst things that can be for Yoshi. But on the other hand, when he does the light shield, because you know you get two kind of different shield. Yeah, when you double jump on the same level stage, you can get back and it's it. But when you do, on the other end, you know, then you get two, two kind of shield. Strong shield and the light shield. The light shield make you get uh, more shield set, but you make you slide more. And the point is with Yoshi, it's like you slide way more like you just get pushed so far away so far away mm, nice of me to avoid that second okay, right there, yeah. so even though you can't jump out of shield this you get pushed far away you should also get parry that can allow him to just like if he if he Shield at the proper timing, and it's one or two frames. It's just insane tires timing. He can just react out of shield instantly and wreck his opponent. With the double jump cancel, he can just make an aerial just on the. just uh. super close from the stage. Like, make an aerial on the ground mostly. Like, it's just insanely crazy. So, in the parry, he can double jump cancel. Out of shield, kind of, out of parry, we would say, and then make it in there. Oh, you see that light shield? That was a light shield. That was nice. He tried to the parry there. Also, because Yoshi can crouch, <laughs> every wrong character can crouch for sure. Okay, okay, let me finish. Because when he crouches, like, completely crouch on the ground, it's hard about to change a bit, so it's easier for him to. Because the shield is a bubble that will appear just above him, okay, right away. So he can crouch, make the move, go just right, uh, fold on him, we will say, and just make appear his bubble of shield on the move. That's how some. Uh, oh no. That's how some character as Marv, for instance, or she can portion way easier. And this same case scenario for, uh, for Yoshi with his uh, parry. He can crouch. And make a pure shield. Oh, nice! You got the heavier armor. So you can just crouch and uh, parry when the move is just on him if you react uh, at the proper time. So that can allow him to parry way more easily, we would say. But that's it. It's still very hard to do. Way harder than Porsche. Way harder than anything anybody knows in Super Smash Bros. Mini. So right now, well, while we were talking about Yoshi, Belia yeah, making his job, we're talking Yogi right now. Oh, the Fire Fox protecting Fox from that uh, from that egg. That's going in that wavelength. And the side beat, get back to the center of the stage right now, but that edge is getting covered by that backer. Three stocks, solid by Belia against Yogi. So, fun of dreams right now. Will he play with all the tiny pads? I'm mean, a why. With the double jump cancel of Yoshi can completely move around uh, in the air, switching his uh, aerial momentum, I would say. So, that can be interesting at some point by playing around with that. So, we'll see. We'll see what he's gonna do with that. With all those wavelengths and stuff, nice should drop. Even though it wasn't really for nothing on the field. Oh, yeah, yeah. Belia acts like really well, it just jumped just to force reaction from Yogi and Yogi just react then and make that air dodge and Belia was like Fall into the trap my boy, you fall into my trap But oh, okay, and for the thing, uh, Belia wasn't expecting that, uh, that egg so he make I think a terrible DI on that egg allowing Yogi to put that down smash out of it But as I said, the out down smash, all the down egg like that, look at that, he gained all the stage of that egg. I can tell you he makes some parry but before you literally react to it but he did the shield on the on the good timing. 
it's also hard to react. Dash tap skin just where he needs to. Okay, nice in the super armor to do that there, but the back air will stop that side B. That's it. I love it. I love that tiny. Oh, on the landing. I love that tiny edge concept, double jump concept there. Really switching, swifting his momentum in the air. <laughs> the crowd is not cheering for, uh, for Yoshi right now, it's cheering for Yogi. I can tell, I can tell. The crowd is cheering and saying Yogi right now. Yogi! But missing that edge guard. But yet he will make that sweet spot. Could have been called by with the don't of a nap smash there. Uh, don't smash, my bad. So we'll see Pelia taking the center. Keep it simple now. We're getting cold. Wanted to get on that uh, top platform. Getting cold. Getting cold. And getting Edgar right after. Oh, nice. Back in reverse. Don't him. Up here right after. But on that take on place, misses. Forward smash. Now Belia turn. Shield are back here. Taking the stage. Now Belia, well, that's what Belia gonna do. He saw like he couldn't excel with those back here, so he get back in the center. Just keeping the center simple. Clean fox. Just a clean fox. Nice, the shine, of course, of course, drill wave shine. Up smash will be enough to take the stock. So what's a gauge? The fair, not the second one though. Nice CI yeah, by, uh, by Belial was hard to keep a track on that. <laughs> yeah, the stock. This is dangerous for you, you need to get down on that edge like as fast as you can. On the ground, Fox, dash tag. Might have been with a bit of edge guard. No, nice edge guard, I would say, on that side. Need to break that shield right after. I think it was, I think it was. Nice by uh, by uh, Belia that short of control on the center. I want to get clean fog, just walking on the center. Keep it simple, keep it simple. If I keep my bases, I got the best character in the, in the game. I will just keep my bases and play with that. Okay, F tilt that way. Forcing double jump and not covering the landing, unfortunately. Not even sure we got time for that. And the trailer, Yogi taking a game 1-1, one, one, but that was a really close game, and I was on the haze. Good to so now Belia will bring that Yoshi on the haze. Good to pick on his own, and that's gonna be not the same game at all, I would say. Final destination, when the Yoshi, when I, t when I talk with a Yoshi, that's always the same thing. Like, I remember playing with Yoshi recently, with Falco, and he tell me, I, I ban uh, uh, FGB because I didn't really know the matchup, I was afraid. And, uh, because I was afraid of that, that kind of thing, that kind of string, that kind of up air, up air, fair, down smash, beautiful. And he was like, dude, why didn't you ban, why didn't you, why did you ban, uh, why did you ban FD, why didn't you bring me there? Because FD is a terrible stage for Yoshi still. He cannot make all the wavelength uh, with the platform, he can move around, he can be trapped, he can be juggled also, he can get really hard punish on that stage, it's really hard for him to reach all the fast fallers, all the spaces. I was like, man, I'm just afraid. When I don't know the cards, I don't pick Edu. And because of that, and because of those kind of string, this is hard. Another point, I feel like spaces are really good on FD, but even though, even though they're really good on FD, I feel like the spaces are way more readable. I would say it's easier to read them on FD because as a not anymore platform, like their uh, movement are really simple and they're really strong po point of the of the spaces, all their mobility, moving around, with with landing around, just just making a hard work for all the all the all the characters, forcing them to commit something to cover a path they would have would have taken but they didn't take because they went on other platform they came in place or anything. On FD, I feel like this is way easier to read them and just react to what they're gonna do. I mean, if they jump or double jump, you can just react to a landing and just follow them. On the other stage, you can drop the, drop the flat platform, whether they land on the, on the top platform, on the side platform, or anything. So even though I feel like FD is always a bet, it's always a bet. If you believe in your strong neutral, if you believe in it, you'll be the winner of the game.
Towards this is still doable. Okay, nice up throw. Earn a barrier. A second one. Okay. Okay, still living because of that huge arm orbit and then get a bad act. He read that and up smash. No will see. The billiard does not come into anything. I was talking about the double jump easier to read on the landing and stuff. They're just making one eye jump and just dash it around. Taking this distance. Waiting a bit and Yugi want to get in. Fighting the back here. Too bad. He couldn't the aircraft to work. But still, that, the trolley. No, no, no. It's in turn one for that down smash. You didn't reach him. Nice the drive. No. Forgeman just in front of him. Nice CIA yeah, though. But. The second one. Taking the edge and he will be enough. Last match that stuck between Billy and Yogi. Will it be the upset already in pools? Will it be? Or will Billy will keep it? And remind people, Billy is the main favorite of that tournament, definitely. Set him to be the winner of that tournament. But pushing the Yoshi away. Working with those back here. Avoid grab that roll. Taking the center back right away. Yogi waiting a bit, trying to make some weird stuff there. Okay, making wall of eggs. Get out, Fox, get out. Now I got my stage a bit. A bit more space once again. Yeah, once again, of course, making that double jump. Trying to make that be neutral. Two in a row, we get punished because of that. So you try it again, but after that double jump, of course, just one back here, Babelia. Just one eye jump, falling down back here, and just stop, Yoshi. Stop. You're out.